welcome back to Eileen's World. In this video, come join me as I spend the day in Universal Studio Japan. I'll be sharing with you some of my tips to help you plan your day there, along with showing you all the rides and theme park food that I ate. If you're visiting Osaka, be sure to check out my Osaka travel guide for all my tips and recommendations around the city. If you're also planning on visiting Tokyo and want some information on arriving into Japan, then I'll also link my Tokyo guide up here in the cards. Getting tickets to Universal Studio Japan can be a little bit overwhelming, so let me break it down for you. We purchased our tickets through Kluk for $80 per person, and this was for the Pass A plus Super Nintendo World entry option. Prices vary depending on the day you visit, so you can check the calendar to see which pass you should get. Keep in mind, when you purchase the tickets on Kluk, you'll need to select the exact date that you'll be visiting. According to the official Universal Studio Japan website, a Universal Express Pass with an area time entry ticket is required to enter Super Nintendo World. However, there may be times when it is possible to enter without it. You also have the option to purchase a Universal Express Pass, which will allow you to ride selected rides through a shorter line. The park offers several different Universal Express Pass combinations, so you can check the website to see which one works for you. Keep in mind, these passes are really pricey and can cost more than ticket alone. If you're going during peak season, weekend, and have the budget for this, this may be something to consider. From our experience, these passes can sell out and not all options may be available to purchase on the day of. And before the visit, make sure you download the official Universal Studio Japan app. We mainly use this app to check wait times while we were at the park. It takes around 30 minutes by train to get to Universal Studio Japan from Osaka City Center. The Universal City Station stop will directly lead you into Universal City Walk, which is just a short walk to the entrance. It is 8.20 and we are in the park, even though it says it opens at 9 o'clock. So now we are going to head over to Super Nintendo World and try to get into those rides. I do want to note that to our surprise, time entry tickets into Super Nintendo World were actually not required on the day of our visit. And if you're looking for Nintendo merchandise, there are two stores located inside Super Nintendo World for you to shop until you drop. And if you get carried away, you can always store your purchases in a locker for 500 yen. And after the ride, it was time to get our Mario popcorn bucket. We waited almost one hour in line and these buckets do sell out, so if you want them, get them as early as you can. Universal Studios Japan has the most unique character snacks and food. So if this is something that you're into, I definitely recommend checking the app or website before your visit to make a list of what you want to try and where they're located. This will save you time and make sure you don't miss out on any of the food you may want to try. The characters come throughout the day and while you won't be able to get up close to hug them, you can still take a selfie and say hi. How old is this person that's in there? All right, we made it to the cafe. It's 10.55 and we are seated. It's hella busy. I think I came at 10 o'clock and they were handing out uh, little tickets for what time to come back. Our time slot was 10.30 to 10.45, so it wasn't so bad. It's just, we had to wait 30 minutes, but we rode on Yoshi's ride in between that time. We pay and then they give us a number and then we get seated, which is great because it's so busy. Imagine if it was like free for all sitting. Ah, it would be wild. I'm out here looking like a wet dog because it is raining. We've got so much merch. We're gonna go broke over this stuff. There's Mario, 5,200 yen later. Part of our ticket was that we paid additional on Kluke to get a time slot to get into Super Mario World, but since we got in early and the park opened early, it was the first place we came to. So we'll come back and hopefully by that time the rain will, um, the rain should be gone. And we are number 33, we keep it on the table and they'll bring the food out to us.
Considering how busy the restaurant was, the service and organization was very good. The waiters even offered to take pictures for us. And as cute as all the food was, it was all very average tasting. Um, however, I would still say it's still a really fun experience to dine inside Canopio's Cafe. Bought a bunch of characters out here. We have Hello Kitty. If you can't get inside Super Nintendo World, have no fear because you can still visit the Mario Cafe and store located in Hollywood to get some really well-made Mario and Luigi themed desserts and merchandise. I just picked up my personalized leather Anya Spy Family phone tag, I guess. I added the peanuts, a uh, little charm thing for an extra 500. Super cool souvenir, and I don't think it's very expensive. It was like 1,800 yen for this. It's from this card over here, and basically, if there's a character that they have here at Universal, Hello Kitty, Minions, Super Mario, then you basically can get some sort of keychain or bracelet or tag. Pretty cool souvenir and then you get to add like extra stuff to it too. Got the Pokemon cart, food cart, and look what we got. A Pikachu pizza bun. Today my goal is to eat as many character pizza buns as possible. found the Spy Family food cart. I got the Anya, Starlight Anya Chura. <laughs> Look at this pork bun. No, it's not a pork bun, it's a curry bun. gonna go to the flying dinosaur now which I think has a 40 minute wait time it's a rainy Wednesday and end of April and wait times have been surprisingly not too bad just got off of the Jurassic Park ride what's it called flying dinosaur and it is brutal wow that was right super intense probably one of the best most fun thrill-seeking rides that I've been on in a while so highly recommend that because you're literally flying like a dinosaur The Wizarding World of Harry Potter is identical to the one in Universal Studios Florida, so we didn't spend too much time there, but we made sure to get a frozen butterbeer and a snack since we were in the neighborhood. We are at the Magic Neep in Harry Potter land, and I got a Hogwarts meat pie. With two and a half hours left until the park closed, we decided to visit Super Nintendo World one more time since the wait times were actually way shorter than they were earlier in the day.
the sun actually decided to come out at like six o'clock right before sunset and the wait time for mario kart now is only 30 minutes so we're gonna go ride it again so it's basically a walk-on ride at this point we did we waited less this time than we did when we first got in this morning crazy So if you actually look in this, it shows real time what's going on and there's even like, they've added little characters and stuff in there which is pretty cool. And before the day ended, I had one more snack on my list to try, which was the Dorimon pork bun and chorito with butter and sweet red bean paste. I just got off of this ride. Anyway, Jose is uh, riding it again because his little VR glass wasn't working. But I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite rides that I rode today. I thought it'd be like a kiddie ride, like a child's ride, but it's not. It's super fun. You're wearing VR glasses, so like no matter which way you look, you see something and it's like super cute. It was in Japanese, I didn't understand anything, but it was still really fun. It's practically like a roller coaster and you're flying. It was chef's kiss, so good. Also, it says that it's like a, it was a 40 minute wait when we started getting in line and actually it was like, I don't know, 15 minutes because you gotta put yourself in lockers and then you watch like a little pre-show thing and you actually take photos and before you know it, you're on the ride. These are the photos that you take while you are getting in line, but they're like 2,000 yen and I just don't feel like spending $15 on a photo. It's 8.17 and I think we're gonna call it a night and the park closes at nine, but keep in mind that a lot of uh, the food carts and some of the rides, they're already closed and we wanted to ride one more roller coaster, but that one's closed too. So we've done everything we wanted to do today. I think we've seen all the merch. I've definitely eaten almost everything I wanted to eat. I would say my final thoughts on Universal Studio Japan is that it's freaking awesome. Losing my voice from all the screaming. It's probably the best Universal Studio that we've been to, which is here, Florida, and the one in Hollywood. The one in Hollywood being the worst. They need to bulldoze that entire place and rebuild. So yeah, I'm gonna check out here, gonna head to dinner, and yeah, Universal Studio Japan, 10 out of 10 recommend. And one more thing before I sign off, officially sign off, is that I just wanna talk about the merch here. Similar to Disneyland or just any place in general, they have the cutest themed gifts. Like, you know, you basically pick your favorite character and that's there's some beautiful dessert, cookie, chocolate presentation. And it's just like, look at this, green tea minions. Here we got a box of Spider-Man and what's inside? Cup noodles with, with a Spider-Man, um, I don't know, like, fish cake is that what it is I mean, the super mario stuff is like out of control you got like super cute tins that you can reuse you got yoshi box sets of like cake with filling on the inside you have these tart cookies with the stars the box is just so freaking cute found a little section of spy family let's take a look at the merch got this box it has peanut cookies inside and that wraps up my day and travel guide for Universal Studios Japan. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave it down in the comments below. And if you want to see where I'm currently at on my one year world tour, then follow me on Instagram at itsileensworld. Arigatou gozaimasu for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.